it's Chris. And people all the time ask me what you can do with an inexpensive scanner like the Revopoint Pop 2. Here's an example. My neighbor saw one of my scanning videos and said he had an electric motor fan that he that he broke and uh, he couldn't order a replacement part for it. And he was wondering if I could use my new Revopoint Pop 2 to scan it and maybe 3D print a replacement. You can see a lot of the blades are broken. The center part is broken off. This fan is off a two horsepower electric motor that spins about 1700 RPM. You can't buy the part. This should be a good test part. It's about six inches in diameter and it's already made out of plastic so it should fit on my 3D printer. I'll glue it back together so I can scan it. Since a lot of the parts are broken we'll have to sort of reverse engineer it and figure out what the original intent was. Since the part is dark I'm going to use some Ace of Blue on it. This stuff stays for a little while and then disappears. And this will give it a nice white reflective coating. Because the part is very symmetric, I put it on top of the feature ring and that way I'm going to use feature scan mode. This is my neighbor's broken engine part. I'm going to try to scan it. New scan, high accuracy, features, no texture. Okay, the scan finished. I'm going to check to make sure that the point spacing is correct. And I want it 0.1 millimeters. On the second scan, I've mounted the fan in two pieces of black clay stuck to the table. I'm going to do another scan where I try to get the back and the front together so I can understand what the disc profile is. I've loaded in the two different scans, uh, cleaned up the points that were from the scan ring, and then I did an alignment of the two sides. This doesn't have to be perfect because it's a broken part and I'm going to figure out what the quote true part is. Here I'm going to load the two edited parts into Revo Studio and merge them into one model. Now the fun starts. I've loaded the model into DesignX and I've told it to try to find all the different features. So it's found the different planes of things and I'm going to set up the coordinate system. I've set up the coordinate system so it goes down the center of the cylinder here and then I've also clocked it so that it uh, uses the plane that's on the, the fan blade. The first thing I'm going to do is sketch out the uh, plate so I'm marking the top and bottom surfaces here and I'm going to revolve those and make a new plate. So after I, I revolve it this is what I get. Next I'm going to sketch out what a fan blade should look like. 
This is a broken one, so I'm approximating where I think it should go. Next, I'm going to extrude out the, uh, the blade, and I measured the thickness with the caliper on the real part. So there are 10 of these fan blades, and so they seem to be equally spaced, so every 36 degrees, I'll duplicate the blades here. Next, I want to create this center object, so I'm going to sketch it. And I'm going to put in some dimensions that I measured off of the actual part. I'm going to extrude the sketch out. Since the real part has these slopes here, I'm going to sketch this out and cut out the solid next the part has these holes here I'm not sure if that's to let air in and it also has a very fine slit here that allows you to uh, squish the shaft on with a, a bolt that goes through here so I've sketched in those holes in slot, and then I'm going to extrude and cut it out. I'm going to sketch in the bolt hole here, cut it out. And finally, I've put a whole bunch of fillets in to give the 3D printed part some more strength. And then we're all done. I've loaded the part into the Prusa slicer. And I'm going to use a uh, Petchy because it's strong. And I'm using 100% infill because these parts are going to be spinning around pretty quickly. This is an eight hour job. Here's the original, and here's the copy. Well, the scan and the CAD work took me about an hour and a half. The print job was over eight hours, and it took me probably another 15, 20 minutes to get the support material cleaned up. But I like how it came out. Well, if this was helpful, please hit like and subscribe, and have a great day.